Now I'll draw our sheet of charge. I'm going to draw it from end on. So we're looking at it like a cross section. We know that the surface charge density is 2 microcoulombs per square metre. And we're interested in a point 0.2 metres away from it. And at that point we have a charge that is 6 microcoulombs. We need to know the force. So the first thing we're going to have to find is the electric field. So the electric field for a infinite sheet of charge is sigma over 2 e naught. Now you notice, in fact, it doesn't depend on r at all. I didn't even need to say that. So why does it not depend on r? Now, if it's an infinite sheet of charge, then we're assuming that it's actually producing a uniform electric field. And that field then, the lines aren't diverging. They're not becoming, it's, so it's not becoming smaller as you move away from the line of charge. So in fact, it doesn't matter what the distance is, electric field will be the same. So the value of it, it'll be 2 by 10 to the minus 6 over 2 times 8.854 by 10 to the minus 12. And that will give us about 1.13 by 10 to the 5 newtons per coulomb. And then the force, which is E times Q, will be 0.678 newtons away from the sheet of charge.